I would love to hear a story or stories. It could be more than one um, of something that has happened in your life or something that you've witnessed that you consider to be magical or miraculous or mysterious. Um, something that you would like to share that um, kind of changed your life. I think that, so I, I actually wrote about this in my first book in my memoir, that, so when my mother was passing away in Australia, and so Australia was in lockdown, it was not, it was barely allowing many people back. So she, the way that, how I actually ended up being actually goes to Japan was there must have been some kind of divine intervention or something like I don't know how that even worked out that I was actually able to even get onto a plane and then was able to because I'm from Western Australia and so just to let you know that that so Australia was in lockdown in general so you had to spend two weeks in hotel quarantine it's like solitary confinement and Western Australia was shutting and opening its borders the, that entire time and I was there were, and while I was actually on the plane, they announced that Western Australia was closing its borders again. And I and I was in Singapore changing flights and thinking, oh my God, like this is it. I'm not going to be able to go. And they somehow, we were the last plane that was able to go into Australia. But otherwise, if I had been on the plane 12 hours later, I would have ended up in a different state because they would have siphoned us off into a different state. So and then when I landed in Australia, um, I was told that I was part of this group on Facebook and they said that, look, even if you make it back to Australia, you probably won't be able to see your mother because nobody, if there was, I think 10,000 people on this Facebook group and it was called, I think, Australian Stranded Overseas or something like that. And all these people were talking about trying to get back to Australia. I was one of the few people that actually got back to Australia. I don't know how. And um, and all these people said to get a hot um, an exception to get out of the hotel quarantine to see somebody dying impossible. They said don't even bother trying. They said don't. I mean you can try if you want to, but nobody, not one story of anybody getting out. And I thought, oh, well, I guess I'm going to try anyway, right? So I started emailing people the email address that I had. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I was about to give up. And one of my friends randomly emailed me and said <clears throat> oh you shouldn't give up because one of my he goes I was just talking to one of my friends and you know he he actually went to see his mom you have to, you keep trying keep trying and I said what email address and he goes I don't I don't know but you've got to keep trying and 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 then I thought I'm just going to find every single email address that's associated with hotel quarantine and I just email bombed a hundred people and finally somebody responded and I was actually able to meet my mom I was I think the only person that that um, was actually, you know, able to get out in the in the entire group of I don't know how thousands of people, right? And so I was actually able to see my mom for thirty minutes, which is you know crazy that you only see somebody for thirty minutes. That's the, the last time I saw her. But the fact that I was actually even able to see her was absolutely miraculous. And the guy, the the nurse who orchestrated that whole experience, said. He was, you know, the head of the nursing department of hospice care. So he sees a lot of dying people. And he said, I was one of the handful of people that who was able to actually get through and see the, 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 the dying loved one still alive. By the time that they, you know, processed the whole thing, most people had already passed away. So extremely fortunate. And it all kind of had to fall into place exactly at the right time and my mother ended up dying I think maybe a day or so after that after I saw her and the doctor also her palliative care doctor just because I got there she knew I was trying to get to see my mother she gave her blood transfusion they usually don't do this just to keep her alive so that was miraculous that she did that for me yeah so that, that I mean that there were so many different aspects of that that I think that you know, that was supposed, I felt like, oh, wow, I feel like some, some force is helping me to, to see my mom. Mm -hmm. 